Hurricane Laura struck the Gulf Coast on Thursday, leaving behind destruction and chaos. Marketing specialist for the Salvation Army in Dayton, Emily Manrique, said people outside the Gulf region can still donate and cash and check contributions are the best way to help. They can donate locally and you can designate those funds specifically to the Hurricane Laura relief uh, program and they will make sure that those funds get where they're supposed to go. Manrique said monetary donations are more effective for a few reasons, like the ease of accessing the correct materials and the ability to help disaster victims long after the emergency. When, when you donate to the relief fund, what that does is that helps us supply long-term relief. So it's not just making sure they have water today, it's how can we help them get back into their homes? Officials at the Red Cross agreed, adding the organization honors donor intent, ensuring funds will be distributed according to donor requests. They also said donations of goods can add to the organization's expenses since they often have to store and clean those products. Manrique said on top of that, disaster relief institutions are always preparing for these types of emergencies, so the southern region, which was most heavily affected, already has many of the goods they'll need. They actually are not able to accept items like that here. Um, there typically tend to be a lot of those items donated um, elsewhere, but really the biggest need is the, is the donations. Communications and Marketing Director for the Miami Valley Red Cross, Marita Salkowski, added those who want to lend a helping hand are encouraged to volunteer at this time. She said while it may be too late to assist with Hurricane Laura efforts, the organization is always lining up volunteers for future emergencies. To find out how you can donate, click the links below. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.